he doesn't always remember me now, but he knows football, and that is something he's, he's never forgotten. It relies on groups like Remember the Rovers. Is these initiatives for the partner or the carer, it gives them a little bit of respite. For Tony to come in and be with people who might be going through similar circumstances, I think is just so powerful. It just gives him some purpose to his life, especially as we head towards the end. And even though that hurts a little bit, that, oh, he forgets me, he doesn't forget here. But we need to keep that in him, because the moment he forgets here, He's gone. Hi, Tony. It's Kenny Douglas here. I'd just like to reiterate what I've said many times before. The contribution you made at Rovers when I had the time in my life there when we came up, Ray and I, uh, was unprecedented. What you did was fantastic, and without all the help you did and gave us, and the insight and the knowledge you had, the club would never have been as successful as what it was. But for everything you did, thank you. You're one of the best. Tony was a big part of that coaching team. He knew everybody at the club. He knew what made the club tick. He was the heartbeat of the club. I mean, people in my day called him Mr Blackburn. He means the world to this club. I think, you know, often people talk about legend, but when you think of Blackburn Rovers, Tony Parks is one of the names that people associate with the club. When the club wanted him after he finished playing, he was there. He managed the club several times in between areas where we, we didn't get a good manager. And here he is, and unfortunately, he's, he's got that, that terrible disease that's impacted my life too. It was November 2019. It was probably a couple of years before that that I started noticing things weren't quite right with my dad. People just think it's forgetfulness, just forgetting, you know, a few memories. I wish it was. You know, it goes from aggression, just losing their vocabulary altogether. My dad has no voice now. He just couldn't follow the conversation. He felt lost. He was scared. Unfortunately, it gets old if you and doesn't let go. Oh, the fans go crazy. It's um, it's really weird experience because obviously I grew up with him being here as a job, but I don't think I appreciated what that meant at all. Until recently, until I brought him back here for the first time and we walked on that pitch and it was just uproar. It felt like a bit like a, he was a rock star. He changed from being nothing. He just felt it here. He knew where he was. He knew he was important. And just seeing him come to life, I mean, I did think I was gonna have to wrestle him off the pitch at one point. I think that'll be a memory that'll stay with me forever. It's really sad to see the decline in Tony. It happened to my dad, uh, Mike, and the thing which people don't understand about dementia is you don't get better. There is, there is no cure. It's a gradual process. My dad was a, uh, an ex-professional footballer. He was a giant to me, but then you saw dementia take hold of him and it, you know, he ended up just fading away. You know, awareness is getting better, but as for support for families, it relies on things like this, like groups like Remember the Rovers. Tony has dedicated his life to Blackburn Rovers and, and the town of Blackburn. For us to be able to help Tony at this stage of his life is, really heartwarming for us. There wasn't much in the local area to help people with the dementia, Alzheimer's. We felt that we were in a good position to run a group like this because the one thing we had was the football club, which for a lot of people is is, is their life, really. So we came up with the idea uh, of putting on a session and it just grew so fast. They give my dad a lift and I think they give a lot of other people a lift because my dad is able to come. I come every week. Um, obviously, we, we start off with the early quiz um, quite often have a guest speaker. You know, the breadth of knowledge in that room about Rovers is unbelievable. 
Who scored a goal from a corner in 1937? The, the, the knowledge is scary, but the quiz is really important to rekindle that memory within the participants. I think this club is quite unique. I just, I just love it. I can't really say much more. You know, it's a lifeline to so many people, and with it being a local Blackburn community, that's special. Is these initiatives for the partner or the carer, uh, it gives them a little bit of respite, time to have a break and chat with other people who have the same understanding of what this horrible disease does to people. The, the funds that we're going to be receiving, it means our staffing can commit the time needed to make sure it grows and develops and continues to offer a first-class uh, service to, to the beneficiaries.